Well, you know, Dan Aykroyd is the person who invented the idea of ghost busting. And when you talk to him, it's like talking to Ray Stan. Such a pleasure in speaking with you. Okay, this movie must come with a warning label. I wasn't prepared. I didn't not, I did not take tissues. <laughs> This movie is so endearing. It has so much heart. Wow. I mean, most, most of us were moved afterwards. We were like speechless. Um, so I wanted to ask, how do you take on a task? You know, we, have to, we know what happened a few years ago with the movie that came out, and there was a lot of backlash. So how do you go about first creating a movie that will pay homage to the originals, but also bring in something new? Uh, you know, uh, Ghostbusters has been a part of my life since I was six years old. So I, 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 it's in my blood, it's in my bones, it's been on my mind. And I think uh, Gil Cannon, my co-writer and I sat down and we made a list of everything we'd ever want to see in a Ghostbusters film. And we approached it with just delight. Uh, and I guess it's no accident that I'm the son of a Ghostbuster and I decided <laughs> to make a movie about the grandchildren of a Ghostbuster. And, it's, and if you've seen his movies prior to Ghostbusters, really, I think Afterlife has a great elements that benefit from the movies that he's made in the past. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's really a lovely combination of what he does best and that it now informs this new afterlife film. Definitely. And dad, how do you, when he was on set, when your dad was on set, you know, you have the legend, not just mm -hmm. your dad, but a legend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, over your shoulder. I mean, what does that feel like? And for you, uh, Mr. Ivan, what, you know, what, what was like the first thing you told your son when he was about to embark on this? You know, I'll tell you the, the thing I felt most is that uh, in a producer, I have a person that is simultaneously one of the most gifted storytellers alive and also the person I trust more than anyone else on earth. And for you, what, what was the first tip you wanted to give him as far as Technique. Use a lot of wind when the ghosts are showing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We had a truck with that at every fan there is. We had everything from a leaf blower to a six-foot ritter. <laughs> and then taking it away from the city was so brilliant because it just yes. provides a whole lot of new things, right? Yes. Was well, that a know, big decision? Uh, you know, I feel like uh, ghost busting, because of my father and the original guys, is now just a, it's a concept we accept. We know what it looks like, but we've never seen it anywhere else but Manhattan. And it was a thrill to take it out on the road, to bring it to the American West, to have it, you know, out the side of Ecto-1 going 70 miles an hour, to have it in the hands of new people who are discovering this equipment the way we feel as fans, we would want to discover it. We all want to know what it's like to put on the Proton Pack and fire it for the first time. And we wanted to give the audience characters that made them feel they could live through them. And Paul Rudd plays that character. He's that guy. He's us watching in the audience, you know, his mind blown when he comes across these things. Right. And I love the fact that you upgraded them. That was so but cool. It's funny, right? Because like Paul Rudd feels like someone you would have cast in the original if he yeah. had been the right age in 1984. He's just one of the most charming, funny people alive and so smart. Uh, and it felt almost necessary to make him the art of the Ghostbusters. And let's talk about McKenna Grace. Wow. Mm. So, she's such a brilliant actress and she really brought it here. I mean, she really brought depth and, and I think for little girls as well to see like that pivotal moment when she finds out something and she's like, oh my God, I'm normal. It's in my genes. Mm. McKenna Grace talk? and my daughter are the same age. And it was important to me from day one that we tell a story in which we have a 12 year old girl who is just brilliant. She's a scientist. And she struggles to communicate with the world. But like every Ghostbuster, she is an outsider who finds her way to heroism through Ghostbusting. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask, Dan Aykroyd comes as an executive producer. What was his input like on the movie? Well, you know, Dan Aykroyd is the person who invented the idea of Ghostbusting. And when you talk to him, it's like talking to Ray Stans. I mean, you want to just start writing down everything he says because it's like he's giving you free dialogue. Um, <laughs> You know, he really is the heart of Ghostbusters and we were thrilled to have him on set. And, you know, for the cast and for the crew who all grew up Ghostbusters fans, there's nothing more thrilling and also nervous making than actually making a Ghostbusters film in front of a Ghostbuster. <laughs> all right.
<laughs> well, congratulations again. The feeling when I left the movie theater reminded me of the feeling I got when I first saw it in 1984 in a movie theater as a kid. Ah, nice. So it was like that same feeling. So I was like, oh, wow, they did it. So <laughs> congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. have a good day. You too.